Now, I'm not quite sure how many people, when they go out on St. Patrick's Day and dress all in the green and, and have their celebrations, really understand the impact that Patrick had. But it was enormous that impact, wasn't it, upon Ireland? Well, it was. Um, my brother Paul has uh, extensively studied uh, St. Patrick in uh, Celtic Christianity by Paul Backholder. And, you know, this man, one of the early saints, he was a great man. He moved in signs and wonders. He preached the, preached the gospel to, generally speaking, uh, pagan-type people. Um, and he saw great results. I mean, literally, he moved in signs and wonders. Um, a far cry from, like you say, how people uh, celebrate St. Patrick's today. But he had Jesus in his heart. You know, he was burning and on fire for Christ. And he went and he shared the good news with these people. And the people responded, um, it could be said mainly because of the signs and wonders. Right. I, I, I don't know what the population of Ireland was when Patrick lived, but I saw one quote which said that over 100,000 people were converted during his ministry. Something like 300 churches were started. So he had a big impact upon Ireland.